Trish Stratus Ivory Jacqueline Stephanie contest is a ladder match and is for the WWE Women's Championship and from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. A huge title defense here for the women's champion guys and believe it or not I'm told the champ comes into this title defense more confident than she's ever been in the past. Some people are saying she's at the top of her game right now. Corey, would you agree with that statement? You know what, Cole? I don't think I've ever been more impressed by her than I am right now. She really has elevated her game to a whole new level in recent weeks. This one should be great, as is always the case when the Women's Championship is on the line. You can say that again, Michael. The Women's Championship has produced some of the greatest matches we've ever seen over the past few years. And to build on that, when it comes to the women's division, I'd say it doesn't get much more exciting than this. You are right, Cole. This one should be great, especially considering the incredible talent level of these women in the ring right now. just seconds away from kicking off one of the most exciting matches in all of WWE, the ladder match. And tonight, the championship hangs high above the ring as these superstars will likely use every resource available to them to ensure they're the first one up that ladder. Byron, what do you think about the shape these women appear to be in right now? They've clearly been prepping for this one. Oh, without a doubt, Michael. I don't know specifically what they're doing inside the gym, but it's definitely working.
and from Buffalo, New York, Beth Phoenix. Guys, we have incredibly high stakes here tonight in this ladder match. And it's because of those stakes that I suspect these superstars will do just about anything to be the first one to climb the ladder and grab the gold. But her opposition here tonight is incredibly dangerous and simply cannot be overlooked. Agreed. But I don't think she's overlooking anybody, Cole. That's not the kind of competitor she is. Here we go, guys. The title is hanging from the ceiling, and we're ready to get this thing underway. And I assure you that if this ladder match is anything like the one we last saw, it will not be for the weak of heart, Michael. On, well, she definitely looks ready for this one, Corey. Would you agree? I'd agree with that, Cole. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. She's always prepared. Simply put, she's a professional. champion with a big time title defense here guys i don't think there's ever been more pressure on the champ than there is here tonight michael guys a win here would go a long way in proving that she is as good as she claims to be and on the flip side cole a loss could be very damaging to her long-term goals It is now time, guys, for a women's championship match that is sure to excite. I'm already excited, Cole, and this match hasn't even started yet. I can just imagine what the atmosphere will be like once the bell rings. As we get started, allow me to remind you that the Women's Championship is on the line here tonight. And those close to the champs say that there is no defeating her here. That's how prepared she is for this one. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view these competitors moving forward. Without a doubt, Cole. And given how heated the women's division is right now, even a single loss can set you back considerably. Let's get this thing going. The champ better have brought her A game, guys, because she's in up against possibly the toughest test of her career. And I'd say St. Louis is in for what might prove to be a match of the year candidate here with this one. Showing an aggressive side here. 
You can see the pain on her face after that slam. Her acrobatic skills never cease to amaze me. Let's touch on Alundra Blaze a bit. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. Just look into those eyes. There's somebody who's convinced they're going to be the one to walk away with the title tonight. Yeah, all I know is she can definitely make a name for herself tonight if she performs well. And she delivers a lightning quick strike. Oh, yeah, here's Stephanie McMahon. Crushing force on that elbow drop. And a powerful forearm. Ivory showing us how to get it done. Corey, tell me, just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Jacqueline starting to stall a bit here. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. And this will absolutely hinder her chances of effectively climbing that ladder moving forward, Cole. These women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. And there's the reversal from Jacqueline. The overhand punch connects. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Executed. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. Cradling the opposition now, which could spell trouble here, Cole. And she slams her back down. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. And what a reversal from Jacqueline. Beth Phoenix makes her pay there. Look at her go. Lita in defensive mode here. Here's what we're going to see. Mickey James with a mick kick. Now that's what I call making a statement. Wow, that should be the final blow. Looks like Jacqueline is starting to slow here. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot. She comes up with a slam. But can she follow up? She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. She wants to do this in the ring. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Now we have Trish Stratus on the attack. Hits her with a stiff elbow. She's so close right now. She just has to pull it down. What are you doing? Pull it. And there's the reversal from Jacqueline. Well, wow, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Great DDT by Jacqueline. She's got a chance to win it here. Yeah, few superstars are as acrobatic. She is on fire. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Look at her go. She boom. <laughs> Ouch. She got her good there. This is Ivory's match now. And she comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. She's looking at it. She's, she drops her hard. This one is over. Going for it all here. Oh, spiking DDT. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Here's Alita. She's got her hands on it, but can she pull it down? 
can't stop now. Still work to be done. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Going all the way up. The ascent begins. Almost had it. She doesn't care where she is. She's going right at him. Don't think this is going to end well. She's taking a while to recover here, guys. At this point, she needs a new game plan. What she's been doing... Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. And what a reversal from Jacqueline. She's got a... Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. And again with it. Man, she is dialed in tonight. Lita looking to get to the top rope. And she hits a DDT that would make Jake Roberts blush. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. She's not looking very good right now. The chick kick from Trish. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Mickey James is in a real bad spot. If she hurries, she'll walk out of this arena with that championship. But let's not forget, you need full possession of it to be declared the winner. Here she goes, back in the ring now. She thought it would never end, but the ladder match is over. I knew she was going to win the whole time, Michael. The action we see each and every year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me.